Good morning. So I went and did my hazard and theory perception test, the module one, 1A, 1B test for my HGV class one license. So to keep everyone updated, I'm going from novice, as in car driver, to lobby license, class one, C and E. And I'm doing it through mainstream and I'm doing it through the government funding scheme. So as long as I pass everything, it would all be completely free. So to not waste time and go straight to the point is I did the hazard and theory test, which is your module 1A and 1B. And in my 1A, which is the theory, you need to score 85 out of 100. So you need an 85% pass rate. This one, I spent a lot of time studying this. Um, and i I done well. I'm really happy with the results actually. It surprised myself. I didn't think I'd get as much, but I got 97 out of 100. Yay! I do highly recommend as well that you get the, quickly show you here, the Lobby Drivers Driving Goods Vehicles book. And I would say obviously get the Highway Code and Know Your Traffic Signs books. They were really handy. And then the app I used to practice the test, which was supplied through mainstream, luckily, um, was an app called DTS. DTS app. So it's a browser app you can use on your computer, which I think was the best way of doing it through the computer. You can also use it on your iPad or your tablet or your phone. So occasionally I'd sit in the garden, practice tests, and then I'd go on the computer and do most of my practice there. Then we got to the theory part of the test, um, the hazard perception, sorry, not the theory. And that one was one I was a bit dubious about. On the mock tests on DTS, I wasn't doing very well. I was predicting too early. So I was a bit worried, but I scored 90 out of 100. So I passed the module one test for both. <sighs> so happy, so happy. So you get your results, it tells you areas that you need to improve upon. Two questions I got wrong was accident handling, and one I got wrong was other road users. And then on the hazard, it says I scored five points on 11 clips, four points on five clips, and three points on two clips. Happy I passed it. To pass the hazard, you need to score 67 or above out of 100. So, did quite well on that one. The DTS app, does allow you to practice mock tests as well using CGI or using DVLA supplied like footage of real cars and stuff. On the hazard test, I would like to say as well, for me personally, everything within the hazard test was CGI generated. I don't think any of it was actually like, pre-recorded stuff, it was all CGI based. Um, you do get plenty of time to think and look around and it was nowhere near as challenging as the actual DTS app made it to be. If you've not done these before, I assume most of you would have done this because if you're going to lobby license, you will probably would have done your car. It's exactly the same, except it's just the threshold scores are higher for the driving. You obviously you need to get 85 out of 100, which I think with a car you have to get 50 questions. I can't remember now for car, it's been so long ago. But yeah, just arrive half hour early, 15 minutes early before you test. You'll sit down, they go through your license check, they check your license, then you sit somewhere else, they check your license again. Then you store all your stuff in a locker so you have no access to stuff. And then, even then afterwards, when you go into the main room for your test, they check your pockets, tap yourself, check this, that. So you're constantly being checked. One of the things that's interesting with this test as well is that you don't do it back to back. You'll go in, and I've done the theory first, sit down in your cubicle after they talk to you, headset on. I use the headset just to try and block out any background noise as well. Do your test. You get a little 15 minute pre-window where you can read the instructions. I did that just to relax into it. So I just watched the ex explainer videos and all that stuff. And once you finish that, you leave and you wait three to four minutes and then you'll get your result and they give it to you without looking so then you have to read it and go Ugh. which 
I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Honestly, I got my results saying I passed, but then that put more pressure on there. So, so I did the hazard test. And again, you're waiting for that because if you fail your first test, like if you failed your theory test, the 1A part, you can't think, well, is it worth doing the 1B, the, the hazard? People still go and do it, I think, just to see if they can pass and again, gain a bit more knowledge and experience. But if you fail one, you failed the entire module, you failed them both. So either way, either way, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I mean, you, you might pass your first one, gives you more confidence. So when you go do your second one, you're feeling more alert into it. But if you fail your first one, you, you know you've failed the entire test anyway. So the second one then becomes like, oh. But it's probably still worth sitting and doing it because you then get a feel of what it's like. So when you come back second time, you are more refreshed to do it. If you've not seen what the forms look like, you'll get your driver license number, your name. This is a form like this. These are your certificates. There'll be a form of stamp imprinted within the text on the paper, embedded. Um, but you need to keep the of these for you to sit your next part of the tests, like your module four, um, your three A and three B. You need to have your hazard and theory test certificates. You'll need your module two as well your cpc test to do your module four as well so keep hold of these these aren't just like print offs that you go yay chuck them these are your official results keep hold of these now these last so if i don't pass my practical test before the 23rd of april 26 then i'll have to pay and sit another test so we're we'll now 24 april you've got to pass before 2026 so you've got two years to pass your practical otherwise you've got to resit these tests if you want any advice on how to pass it all i can really say is get the dts app study it every day i split my time chunks into three day parts in a day morning afternoon and evening and i would just go for the dts app and i would do reading all the questions then i would do the mock tests as in like sample test the 20 questions they chuck at you answer them and then in between that i was reading the official highway code book which covers everything and then you've got your traffic signs as well very good book and if you're going to be a professional lorry driver you probably want to keep these in your cab at all times and just browse through them for five minutes every couple of days just so you're always constantly refreshing your mind. And then the other book I was told to get was this Driving Goods Vehicles book. And this was really good. This is really helpful. Very, very good read. So it's worth going through that as well. And keep a copy with you at all times. Again, being a lorry driver now isn't just jumping into a lorry. It's now a profession. And I think... Anyway, I don't want to feel this to be too long rambling on about stuff. It was literally just to give you an update of what's happening. So I passed the hazard and theory test. I'm really happy with it. Um, I now have to update mainstream, let them know what I've done, and they will start booking the next parts of the test. I've done no practical driving yet, so I've still not sat in a lorry. Um, but cross fingers, we can get the rest of these done very soon. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you um, find any of this stuff that I say useful, or the process just useful. I'm going to try and show you from beginning up until the final test, hopefully with some results and passing. Uh, it's only going to be a short little series of going from car driver to lorry driver with mainstream. And any questions, just drop them into me. I've probably missed loads of stuff I wanted to say, but I'm just excited to get the test results and pass and share it with you guys. So yeah, speak soon. Have a great day. Good luck in your driving. Let me know where you are on your current journey if it's with mainstream or if it's independent, and we'll speak soon.